What's going on everyone? No Zoop for you here, and today I have a viewer submitted gameplay from McBurl. I kind of like that name, McBurl. It's kind of like MacGyver, but not. And he's provided a Kitakaze video, a uh, gameplay that, in my opinion, exemplifies situational awareness. Now, this video, uh, his gameplay, kind of slow in the beginning. Things, things got off to a very slow start, but right around midpoint of the round, things just really changed. He took a lot of damage, a significant amount, and that might have forced his hand a little bit to be a little more cautious, but it paid off for him. And the second half of the game, he just went on absolute tear and had a phenomenal round. And again, one of those rounds that I think just shows you what patience and persistence and just knowing what's around you can do for you and how it can really help you win a game. And that's pretty much what he did. He won this game for his team. If he had not played the way he did, they would have lost. And that's the beauty of this game. And just that it's it's usually not over until it's over. Um, obviously, there is a point where things swing one way or another, and you know that you're not going to win. It's, it's just not possible, whether by points uh, or by ships. But sometimes, any given Sunday, right? Anything can happen. So, that's not the point of this video, though. I'll, I'll, I'll cut back onto his video, but first I, I want to talk about World of Warships, and you might see the title of this video. I still love this game. I do. And I have. Now, that, that doesn't mean I'm 100% happy with it all the time. I think like most players who've been playing for five years, we go through ebbs and flows, and every now and then we get very frustrated with something. We might go away for a little bit, and then we come back. I'm no different. I go through periods where I just decide I'm making content only, and I play the game to get stuff for content. I'll uh, play a certain ship that we're testing, and I'll get the video I need, I'll cut the content, and that's all I play of World of Warships. And then there's other times where that's not the case, and I go out there and I really enjoy a ship, and that's all I want to play. Or we've got something like Rank Sprint, like we have going on right now, so I play Rank Sprint because I'm absolutely enjoying it. So, I, I don't think anyone out there loves the game in perpetuity. I, I, I don't think you can. And that's the really unique thing about World of Warships. You know, it's going on five years, and there still is a very, very loyal player base. But that being said, you know, I, I'm going to call Wargaming out when I think something's wrong. I might love the game, and I might be a community contributor, but I, I'm not going to cheerlead 100% of the time when I think there is a serious issue going on. And yes, there was a stretch a couple months ago where I, I think I might have been a little too heavy-handed. Um, and I'm sure some of you enjoyed that, but, you know, I, looking back, it was just not a tone that I wish I had taken. And I, I somewhat regret that, because I have a very good working relationship with Wargaming and a lot of the developers there and the staff. And, you know, some of the things I said, I, I, I know it probably hurt them in ways. And they take pride in their game, and I know what they're doing is what they feel is in the best interest of the game. So I, I had a video where I kind of apologized about that, and I'm just doing it again because, you know, that it was a rough time. I, you know, I twins up, you know, getting only about three or four hours of sleep, yeah, and my job just not not a very good place. But anyhow, that that's beside the point. I'm still gonna call Wargaming out if I don't think something's right, tactfully and honestly. And that's what I did recently also with the carrier situation. And again, I said in the very beginning that I was not creating an anti-carrier video and I was just acting as a messenger. And that is one of my main jobs in my opinion as a community contributor. I am a messenger. I am a go-between between the community and World of Warships. When there's a voice out there that's not being heard, I'm gonna do everything I can if I feel it's something that's worth bringing to Wargaming's attention. And with the current issue with ranked gameplay, excuse me, not ranked gameplay, but Clan Wars, and yeah, to an extent, ranked gameplay as well, because it affects that. You know, there was a large portion of players that were extremely dissatisfied with 
clan battles and aircraft carriers' involvement in clan battles. And while, while you know, it, it might not be a huge amount of players, you know, maybe 50, 50 different clans represented, and in the scheme of things, in a game with millions of players, no, that's, that's not a large amount of players. It's a very small amount of players. But it's still a group that needed a voice, a group that couldn't get the message across, though they've tried and tried and tried. And I, I, I understand their plight. I understood it, and I understand how a CV can make a huge difference in clan battles. And I, I know not everybody agrees with that, but in my opinion, there was a significant enough amount of uh, clans and popular clans, too, clans that you've heard of that were upset about this, that I took up the fight for them, or at least presented their argument. And I, I thought I did it in a very, very tactful way. I didn't sensationalize it. I didn't come out and say, Wow, a hundred clans are quitting, and 50 players per, qu per clan, or they're, they're leaving the game completely. They're done. They're just walking. I, I didn't do that. I just said, hey, there's a lot of clans out there that are upset about the way things are going, and they're thinking about sitting this season out to get their point across. Really informational, kind of a news type of thing. And I said I was just the middleman. So, things like that, I'm going to continue to do. I'll always do that. I'll, I'll always fight for the little guy, I guess. And, and that's just one recent example of something that's happened in the community that has affected one segment. It might be something else one day. In the past, it's been stuff like HE. Uh, Smolensk. Everybody's favorite ship still. So, when, when something like that happens, I'm still going to call it out. But the other thing that I'm slowly starting to keep in mind, though, is that... Yeah, the game is going to evolve, and Wargaming probably isn't necessarily looking at the players that have been around for a long time, because at this point, let's face it, if you've been playing as long as I have, and, you know, I, I don't even have nearly as many battles as some of you all. If some of you all are in the 10,000 range, and I, I think I'm pushing 6,000, um, and that doesn't count for testing and press accounts and everything else, so... I, I will admit, this is probably the most hours I have put in a single video game. I, and, you know, it, it would be silly to deny that I love World of Warships. I mean, I wouldn't be playing it if I didn't care about it as much as I do. And I, I know there's some out there that are just playing it because at this point it's content, uh, pays the bills or whatever, but I'm not in that situation. I'm not. I mean, I've got two twins that are four months old now, and if I didn't really enjoy the game, I would walk from it. So I, I still enjoy the game a lot. So one of the things that, as I was saying, I'm starting to realize that the, the players like me, and maybe a lot of you watching this video out there, if you've been playing for five years, Wargaming knows that you're probably going to stick with the game. And if not, they're... I'm not saying they're writing you off, but the focus now is on incoming new players, keeping players fresh. And a lot of the players coming in really do like aircraft carriers and that style. So I think in many ways, I hate to say it, but us old time veterans might be expecting too much to be catered to us when there's a lot of new players, a lot of players that probably have never even heard of me or even someone like Jingles that are coming in and they're enjoying the game for completely different reasons and they have no idea where we came from. They have no idea that there was blind firing, well not blind firing, but stealth firing back in the day and there used to never be radar and aircraft carriers were 2D so you know, we're, we're, we're kind of like the old codgers right now shaking our hands and yelling at clouds. So may, maybe we need to change our outlooks, but you know that doesn't mean that <laughs> everything's going great and we should accept everything because because we've been around so long, we know when something isn't going good. We we know when something's not right and when something just doesn't work. So in a way, wargaming still does need to pay attention to the older, long-time players, but. Yeah, I, I still love this game, and I, I still play it for fun. I still play it 
to create content, I still love creating content for you all, and I'll, I'll continue to until I, I just run out of time or I do get tired of the game and I decide to walk. Uh, when, when I lose enjoyment in the game, that's when I'm going to hang it up, and I'm still enjoying the game. I'm still enjoying randoms, I'm still, for the most part, enjoying rank, and one of the things I enjoy the most, it's because of you all. I love meeting you all in-game, I love saying hi, and I'll always say hi if you reach out and say hi to me in-game. I'm not going to ignore you, I, I just, that's one of the aspects I love the most, so really, it's, it's you all who have kept me in this game as well, and just the interaction between you all, and the witty banter that sometimes happens, so, yeah, I, I still love this game, I do, I do. It's not perfect. It never has been perfect. And Wargaming is going to continue to change it. The game's going to continue to change. And I, I guess at this point, I'm, I'm just going to go with the flow. And what happens, happens. I'll call Wargaming out on stuff I don't agree with. And I'll fight for you all on stuff that you don't agree with. Uh, so long as I agree with it as well. And maybe even if I don't agree with it. But enough of that. Let's get back to McBurl's game with this uh, Kitakaze, which happened to be one of the most enjoyable grinds in the game for me. I, I really do think that it's a case of Tier 9 being better than Tier 10, the Haragumo. So, where is he at right now? Let's take a look and see. Well, I do believe at the beginning of this video I said that right around the midway point, things were going to start changing for the better for Mr. McBurl. McBurl. Uh, and things have. He's sunk one ship, and though he has taken a lot of damage, he's just skirting along with 2,000 points. Uh, his team is now up, though they only have one out of the two caps, and they're losing one right now. He's only done 37,000 damage. So, you know, at, at face value, that doesn't sound like a lot. And he's kind of out in no man's land right now. He's behind enemy lines. His, his teammates are all at B. One of the destroyers is going in the other direction. But he is going to attempt to use these islands for cover, and he's going to kind of help his team over at B on his way to C. Because right now, he knows that he has to capture C. And he's got some heavy hitters there. He, he can't go too close to these ships, because you know we all know that Bismarck has those 11.5 kilometer secondaries. So he's going to launch these Torps off at this Synop that's kind of slowing down just a little bit. And, and like I said, he's going to use the terrain to cover and conceal him, which is a little military stuff right there. And you all know the difference between cover and concealment, right? Well, I, I'm sure you do. This is cover right here, solid landmass blocking you from incoming rounds, whereas concealment is just something like trees and rounds will go through that. Those of you in the military know that. Those of you uh, that aren't, you know, just just little differences there. And this York pops out of nowhere, and fortunately he's in a Kitakaze, and this happens to be a York, so he's going to start slinging H, or excuse me, AP at this York, and he's going to make short work of this York, and in the process he also got some good damage on the Synop over there. Although his team is also losing ships, they just lost some Massachusetts. And the good thing is that Synop is low health, the Bismarck is low health as well. He's got two kills, and now he's up to 82,000 damage because that Torp did some serious damage. So things are looking good. They're still losing points now. Uh, they, they actually have lost the lead since we last brought up the points. But he's going to start doing what Kitakaze is doing, raining down that fire on that Synop. Trying to take it out. The Synop's got bigger fish to fry right now. He's got someone else aiming at him. And again, he's uh, using the terrain to cover him. His advance to C, which he is now in. Takes out that Synop. And like that, he now has three kills. Though, the game is still not in their favor. The, the, the bright thing is, right now, they're winning four ships to three. And that Bismarck looks like it's going to go down pretty soon. But there's still a destroyer lurking around. We don't know how much health that destroyer has or where it's at. He needs to cap, which is what he's doing right now. He doesn't want to give himself up to this Bismarck because he's still low health, but this Bismarck is healing right now. So the Bismarck was on the ropes and it is no longer on the ropes. So what he's going to do now is he's going to make sure he caps before starting to try and take out this Bismarck. And there he goes. We're going to see if he can take out the Bismarck. And you know, I just really love the Kitakaze. I miss it. I, I miss playing it a lot. And Bismarck sees him. He's going to fire. But again, he's got some great cover right here with terrain. 
and the secondaries are going to miss him, and he's going to swing around. He's broken, broken visibility, but of course his Bismarck still 2,300 hit points left, and that's a lot when you're facing a battleship and you only have 2,000 hit points left in your destroyer. Still four to three, but still losing with points, and there's not a lot of time left either. I mean, we've we've gotten five minutes, and while while that seems like it might be a lot of time, a lot can happen, and if he's got to get from one side of the map to the other, that's going to take a couple of minutes. Bismarck's still got low health, guns facing the other direction, but he's going to opt right now for the torpedoes and hope that that will take care of it. Which is probably not a bad idea. He's got the concealment, Bismarck's just chugging along forward, kind of not paying attention, doing that lovely straight line. He's going to fire because he knows he's going behind cover right now. Going to get some hits on him. But he's detected by two ships. And that means the destroyer's around. <laughs> Destroyer gets a little hit off of him. And there's the Z-46. Z-46 isn't doing that great either. He's only got 500 hit points. So Kitakaze, McBurl, can make short work of him. And there he goes. He takes out the Bismarck. Things are now shifting. Well, it's, it's still three ships to two ships. They have a one-ship advantage. And he, he probably could whip around and take out that, that Zed pretty easily. But he needs to play it safe. He can't allow him to sneak up on him because that would end the game. And he is going to pop into view. McBurl is going to shoot him. He's going to win the game. He's going to get the Kraken. And this, this just shows what situational awareness can do for you when you have good situational awareness. Just a really great comeback, really great playing, sticking in the game despite having a small amount of hit points. He played it smart, did what he needed to do, used cover, used the terrain, and just, just a really good game. Not an extremely high damage game, but five kills is great. Got the solo cap. Well done, me, bro. Well done. You all take it easy. Have a great one. Zoop. Out.